So in the previous tutorial, I showed you how to make a circle and how to make your own block. We're going to use that same code now to make something kind of cool with a whole bunch of circles. The idea here is we're trying to develop your students' geometric modeling skills, and then maybe they can use those for problem solving later on. You can see our original code here with the clear, pen down, and then draw circle. And it looks over here under define circle for the code for a circle. What we're going to do is draw a whole bunch of circles, but before we draw each circle, we're going to rotate. So under motion, we'll take turn 15 degrees to the right, and we'll put that above, so we just have to drag that block down, above the circle code, and we're going to repeat that. I'm going to leave it repeating 10, and we'll come back and talk about that. So let's see what that will do. So you can see it's going to rotate 15 degrees, draw a circle, rotate 15 degrees, draw a circle, and it will do that 10 times. Now what you could do is challenge your students to make it so you have a whole circle of circles. In that case, they'd have to calculate how many times, or figure out through trial and error, how many times they would need the repeat to happen. So we can try that out ourselves here. I'm going to use the number 24 but it would be good to let your students figure that out. So you can see 24 times 15. So you can see when it, once it's done and you repeat 24 times, you get um, quite a lovely picture of a bunch of circles. Let's say you wanted to change the color of each circle. And if you want to see more ideas like this, you can go to researchideas.ca and there's a book there and the book has some code and some diagrams to go along with it. So let's go ahead now and change this so that every circle will be a different color. Under pen, we'll go to change pen color by 10, and we'll put that in the repeat. So let's see what happens. You can see it started with the original blue shade and then has changed colors every time it draws a new circle. You can have your students play around with that, maybe rotating at different uh, number of degrees, and then they'd have to adjust their repeat. You can also have them make different shapes, so with squares, triangles, rectangles, and see what happens to the diagram as they do that. 